everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. If you're interested to see how I made this keychain and this little charm, stand by. All right, so the items you'll need are these little mini glass containers. I purchased these from the dollar store. They also had the bigger ones if you wanna make um, full keychains versus just putting it as a charm. So you can get these at the dollar store. Um, you'll need a craft seashells if you wanna add seashells. And of course you'll need some sand. You'll also need like a little dab of some type of adhesive. So I'll be using UV resin. You can use E6000, hot glue, whatever type of uh, glue adhesive, like I said, that you want to use. And if you're using UV resin, of course, you will need a UV lamp or a flashlight. Um, you'll also need some keychain hardware. So I have this right here, these three pieces, a jump ring, a, um, I'm not sure what they call it, a twisty thing, and a keychain holder. Um, I think that is all that you'll need for this project. If I left anything out, I will definitely put it in the description box below. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so I will be using both of these because I wanted to just use both of them. So you just open up your packet as such. And the six come in there for a dollar and you get six in this one as well. So, and you can make these as party favors, keychain charms, any type of thing, especially if you're having like a beach um, party, a beach wedding. These can be really nice party favors for your wedding guests. So you just, if you're especially having like a beach party or a beach wedding on an actual beach, you can take the sand from the beach and it can be like a little um, memory thing and you can put like the date on there as well. Oh, that's so cute. Um, yeah, that is like really cute because I would do that. Just scoop up some sand from the beach wherever you're doing and just scoop it up and put it into the bottles. And if you can, you could get like a seashell from the actual beach you're staying at or having your party, wedding, whatever, and put it in the jar as well. So it would have to be small though. All right, so as you saw, I just took some sand. And I got the sand from the Dollar Tree as well. All of this came from the Dollar Tree. I think the seashell, no, the seashells came from, um, Wal not Walmart, uh, Amazon from Panda Hall. But I think you, they do sell seashells at the Dollar Tree, but I'm not sure if they're um, this type this uh, size or whatever. Or maybe I got these from Michaels. I'm not sure. I get a lot of stuff from a lot of places. So, <laughs> but I think I got them from um, Amazon. But anyway, all I did was take a little sand, poured it into this uh, medicine cup. And this medicine cup is pretty flexible. So I would just bend it. And I'm just gonna pour some sand into the jar. And like I said, if you get a really small seashell, you can drop a small seashell in there. And then that's it. And then you'll just take your little stopper here and you're going to dab it with a little UV resin. And I have some UV resin that I took from my open container. I accidentally left it on the desk where the sun was beaming at. So, but you'll just take a little bit and you'll just put it on the cork. because you wanna make sure it's nicely sealed in there. So you don't even need a lot. Just need a little bit. And you're just gonna pop it in there or any type of glue that you use, you just wanna pop it in there. And I'm gonna make sure I get some around the sides. And this is just UV resin I'm putting around the sides. Okay. And I'm just gonna put it back in there. And I'm gonna get my UV lamp. So I have my UV lamp here. And I'm just gonna sit it under there for just a little bit so it can cure. And um, with this UV resin, 
it cures in two to four minutes. Sun curing is five to 20 minutes. You can leave it in there longer, but as long as you hit the mark that it takes for it to cure. So I'm gonna let that cure and then I'm gonna get the taller one and I'm gonna put some, Sure, this one's empty. I had some embossing glitter in that one. All right, so I'm just to take some blue sand. All right, and if it's like a wedding or anything, you can take the bride and groom's favorite colors and put it in a sand in the um, container like this. So if their colors are their wedding colors, boom their wedding colors or their favorite colors. Um, you can do blue and white. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. But you can take, if their colors are blue and white, you can mix it like that and it's blue and white. And then you can put one, or the groom and groom, the bride and bride, whatever. And then you can put two seashells because it is a couple. And then you can have their wedding colors or their favorite colors in the um, container. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing with the tall one. And you can actually fill it all the way up to the top if you wanted to. Um, I just wanted to fill it up right there, but you can fill it up to wherever level you want it filled up to. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Make sure you get the side so it is nicely sealed. Put it in there and then you stick it underneath your UV lamp. And while that one is baking, I had to put that one to the side cause it's taller than the thing. So then, as you see, this one is the top is not coming out. It's not coming out like this one popped out, no UV resin, no seal or anything like that. This one is not coming out. And the shell, you can turn in all that other good stuff. So I'm gonna sit this to the side, let that bake up. I'm actually gonna put the foil around it so it can um, get the light. All right, I'm gonna put this one before I knock this over. All right, and then the next step is just taking this little, let me get uh, my pliers. Here we go. All right, so then you're just taking this little twisty thing. If y'all know the name of it, put it in the thing. But you're just putting this little twist thing in there. The same thing that you would put in like the um, resin letters and stuff, you would put that in the top of here. And then I will actually dip the uh, twisty part. I dip the twisty part into some UV resin. And then you'll just twist it in there. And just put some force in there. Make sure it gets in there. All right, so now it's in the top. And then I'm just gonna put it in a UV lamp for a little bit so it can um, seal the twisty thing in there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. So this is really a really cute, quick project. And you can use it for any occasion. And this is a bigger twisty thing. All right, so that's all you're doing. And it looks like that. Can you see that? Like that, and then I'm gonna put this, do the same thing. Put it in the UV light so it can seal. And then this one had enough UV time. So then you just want to take your jump ring. Let me wipe this off. I got UV resin on the bottom of it. 
And you're going to take your UV, mm, not UV, you're going to take your, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just cleaning it off. I got some uh, UV resin on it. And I'm going to get my other plier. So then you're just going to take your jump ring, put it on the bottom as such. And then I have this keychain over here that I already made. It says beach. And so then I'm, if I wanted to, I could just attach it to here and then it'll be like a cute little charm. Just close it up. It'll be a cute little charm like such. Look how cute that is. And if you're making these, if you saw my other video on how to do this, it's really quick and easy. You can put, if it's like a party, you could put the person's, um, the name of the party person there and or your guest name there in these letters with a little keepsake of the beach and the charm. And the same thing with the wedding. If you know who's going to show up, you can um, really quickly do um, their names or you can just put the uh, bride and bride, groom and groom, groom and bride, initials or whatever, like P and P and P and the date that they got married and the little seashell on the side too. So, I mean, you know, the little sand um, thing on the side as well. Or you don't have to do that at all. <laughs> you can just um, do beach and put that like that. So that's an idea there. So, okay. So for this one, you can just do the same thing. Loop the jump ring. And then you can take the end of the keychain hardware, loop it, seal that up as such. And you can just make it a keychain like this. You could actually put a tassel on the other side. I do not have an extra tassel, but just imagine um, a tassel being there in that color with the. Um, silver you could put a tassel right there um you can put a letter on there you could just leave it as this and that could be your keychain right there and if you have a store or anything like that you can sell it so it's so many things you can do with these um little mini jars i do actually have a tassel so to make it complete I'm gonna show you really quickly um like that boom so you could just put it like this a little tassel if you want a little tassel there so like i said it's a lot of stuff you can do with these little miniature jars and make them look really cute you can um sell them separately like this so the sky is the limit so I, this is the end of this video. This is really quick and easy and it's fun to do. You can do it with kids. You can do it with family and just have fun with it, y'all. Um, that is it. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. And if you are not a part of my Facebook group, go ahead and hit the... Um, it will have the link in the description box and it will take you to the Facebook group, answer the three questions, and I will go ahead and admit you to the group. Um, post all of your crabs, give advice, do all of that good stuff and have fun. So that is it for this video. And until next time, y'all, peace.